You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Water Cooler Edit with myself, Chris, and Rich. We couldn't get rid of the cameras, so we added a second camera. So now you can see us from even more angles. And well, summer is in full swing, but it seems like summer's coming to an end, Rich. Back to school sales have already started. Like, I presumed going back to school would be beginning of September. No, it's August 29th. Yep. Academic year starting August 29th. Um, I have to say, back in the day, it was a time of year that I absolutely dreaded when I was at school. I wasn't one of these kids who was desperate to get back to school. I was kind of like, I want my summer holidays to go on forever. But um, look, it is what it is. It's uh, school time is back and there's sales on out there, big time sales. We've got... Uh, on the uh, my boot blog, we have articles uh, on sales in Dubai, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi. We've got articles on um, online sales as well, so you can get uh, all new products for the kids. Um, I don't know um, anything they might need at school. Now's the time, man. Now's the time. You know, I went shopping over the weekend. I went to Murray City Centre, I think it was, and we went in there looking for board games. The board game section had moved and it went somewhere completely different. What was in its place? Back to school. Everything was back to school. It was just like bags, pencil cases. Then there was ones that I wanted as well. And then I realized, wait, I'm 32. <laughs> I don't need to buy things back to school, do I? Although I still do kind of want to go back and get that. Did you buy a lunchbox? Is that what you're telling me? You're about to tell me you bought a lunchbox, didn't you? Was it would... a, is it a Scooby-Doo one? No. <laughs> it would have been a Pokemon one. But they didn't have... <laughs> <laughs> a Pokemon lunchbox. They only had the bag. They had a wallet, which I thought, you know what? I should get a new one. I mean, I've got one at the moment, which oh, yeah? is which is great one as well, isn't it? Let's check it out. I've got a lot of them, haven't I? <laughs> so I've got this is my current wallet. And it survived at least now what? Uh, it's got to be at least two years, which is pretty good. They had this one. That was take about, a look, man. It was this big. It was massive. I'm not going to steal your cards. Don't worry. It's so. all right. Take them. They're not worth anything anyway. There's <laughs> nothing there. There's a, a really old Raichu card in there. That's it. Nice. I, I, could, I could actually it's put cool my... Design. Yeah, I could put my, you know, my cards, like getting in and out of the office, bank cards or whatever. I could put my Pokemon cards in there too. And I thought, this is amazing. This is revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get one. Then, then there was a couple next to me that walked past... And the guy was obviously an older gentleman to what I am. And he, he also went, ooh, Pokemon. <laughs> and I Brilliant. thought, I'm not, I guess I'm not the only one. <laughs> he was definitely well over the age of it. He already had all the stuff that his kids wanted. But he also went, ooh, Pokemon. And I was thinking, yeah, I'm, I, I'd, I'd be the same. Like, I'm a sucker. You know I'm a sucker for Nintendo stuff. If there was like Nintendo uh, lunchboxes in there, Nintendo, I don't know, pencils. I'd be like, ooh, it's a Mario pencil. But you know what? something else I've noticed as well? Why, like, bags and these kind of things, why do kids always get the cooler ones? Like, they get these interesting designs, they're all colorful, they really stand out. And as adults, we have, like, black, brown, gray, metal. I mean, yeah, it looks great for, like, a couple of days, but then it kind yeah. of gets boring. You want to look at something different. These ones are so snazzy. Like, no, why are people going to look at me weirdly if I buy a Pokemon backpack? People you know? need to embrace their inner child. Yes. That's what we're saying. Back to school is not just for the kids, it's for you as well. <laughs> Buy yourself that Pokemon backpack. Doesn't matter what people are going to say. Get Don't be left out. You Don't know what? No. Out. Get the Power Rangers one because you know you want it. <laughs> nice. You nice. know what else is back though, Rich? Well, sport is coming back. Uh, well, sport, let's be honest, all year round, but some major sports are about to get back into swing. Not um, if you watch Formula One. That's always on. Yes, it's early. So it's actually, it's a summer break, doesn't it? Which I think we're... Four they, weeks. Yeah. We have a summer break. Yeah, and it's weird. It's right at the end of summer they have their summer break. So, But anyway, we diverge, right? So um, the English Premier League is back. Bigger, better than ever. You love your footy, Chris. Come on, you love it. I'm the least English <laughs> English person you've ever met. I have no interest in football whatsoever. Okay, the World Cup. Yes, I'll watch that. If you ask me who's playing, I have no clue. I always get questioned everywhere I go, oh, you're English, who do you support? It's Crystal Palace because I'm literally from down the road there. And there's no football for Dulwich. That's think. a good one to go for, actually, because Crystal Palace, if you say Crystal Palace, not many people really hate Crystal Palace. Whereas if you, if you say something like, uh, I don't know, Manchester United, there's loads of people who love Manchester United, but there's also other people who kind of feverishly hate them. 
So you kind of put yourself in that space. Whereas with Palace, everyone's like, ah, yeah, all right, Palace. It's because yeah. we're, it's cause we're yeah. rarely in the Premier League and when we are, just no one knows who we are. Kind of so kind of harmless. Yes, but anyway, yeah, the uh, English Premier League is back. Um, lots of shiny new players because the English Premier League is the only league that still has money after the pandemic, it would appear. So just been hoovering up the best players from other leagues. Um, so bigger and better than ever is is pretty much uh, how they're selling it. And obviously there's some great bars here in Dubai where you can go and check out the footy, um, show all the big matches on ridiculous amounts of big screens. Um and having to think about those bars. Have you got any personal favourites, sports sports bars? Sport bars, not so much. I mean, they used to really like Kickers and they got the Formula that 1. That is one well. of the major ones, right? Uh, kickers in Sports City. That's a big one. Irish Village is always great because they've got the inside and outside area. Yep, absolutely. And it's great for kids as well. I've been going there since I've been seven. Really? Yeah. Nice. Been the one in Garhood. Uh, I can even... Cap- it's a bit of a legendary, iconic I venue, even, isn't it? I can even remember places where things happen that I probably can't talk about. Probably best not to, I would yeah. have said. Yeah, I still want the ducks, though. I'm going to get one of them at, at some point. What happens at the Irish Village stays in the yes. Irish Village. I think that's the uh, that's the proverb, right? That's yeah. what they say. So, so uh, who are you supporting then? I am an Arsenal fan. Um, but look, guys, we're not very good anymore, right? We're not very good. So you, you don't hate me for it. We're from just, the same neck of the woods, though. We're literally from like round the corner from one another. Just, just pity you, pity me for it. I think you know, you're for not being support, an Arsenal fan. You're not supporting. Crystal Palace. <laughs> Why would I do that to myself? <laughs> Unbelievable. This is what we get. We're from the same neck of the woods almost. I'm literally like, what, 10, 20 kilometers away from where you're yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, even less than that. Probably about yeah. 10 kilometers away from where it's I live. It's because Croydon yeah. doesn't play football. That's why. Crystal Palace is the closest, f- well, yeah, Millwall, Charlton and Crystal Palace are all the closest to me. If you're probably about the same distance from where I actually live, but who are they? But none of them are very, none of them are very good. So I go for it's not Yeovil. <laughs> Got to support Yeovil. Yeah, the giants of English football, Yeovil. <laughs> Besides English Premier League, I know that you're a fan of another sport as well, and so am I. Mm. And we probably have we support the same team. Weirdly enough, I mean, you support it for a different reason than I do. I support it because it was an Ace Ventura and he was running around in the tank. Oh, classic. And of course, what we're talking about here is NFL because I don't understand the sport. I'll enjoy it from time to time. I, again, I prefer NASCAR because going around in circles for four hours is much more enthusiastic than watching burly grown men run backwards and forwards for probably the same amount of time. <laughs> but the National Football League is back. The NFL, the biggest spectacle of football in the United States mm-hmm. is back. Yeah, I'll it call is. it hand egg though. Yeah, the audience for the NFL is growing all over the world at quite a rapid pace. I mean, they you've got like the international series games where they, they actually host games in London every year. This year, they've also got one in Mexico City as well. NFL's huge, it's back, and there's some great bars to watch it here. Um, what, Where would you recommend? I really like um, original Wings and Rings which uh, they started out um, with the branch in DIFC um, and they've now got a branch in JLT Mm. as well. It's a great place. It's, uh, look, chicken wings and beer or non-alcoholic beverages if you prefer. Can't go wrong with that. Basically, it's a fun place to watch football. Loads of big screens. They always make an effort for the NFL there as well, right? So um, other than that, if you want to go completely... You don't want to be around the alcohol, etc. There's always Buffalo Wild Wings on Beach Road. That's another great place. Um, and they always make an effort for the NFL games as well. So uh, other than that, just your standard uh, sports bars that you could go to for the English Premier League as well will be showing all the NFL games because the audience here is pretty big, right? Happy days. Another unsuccess- unsuccessful season coming up for Miami. Get in. So that's the thing between English Premier League and NFL. We do have, obviously, there are the feeder categories. Obviously, in the English Premier League, we've got second, third, fourth, I think. You've got the Premier League. Then the league below that is called the Championship. Then League One, League Two. They're the four professional yeah. leagues. And Yeovil has never been in the Premier League at all, as far as I'm aware. Or, anyway. or, or not likely to be. It has to be said. Ever since. Prove us wrong, Yeovil. <laughs> I will support you. I'll be your biggest supporter. Black and yellow all the way. Um, it's what is... Is, don't they play white and green? It, I think it's black and yellow, isn't it? <laughs> they look like, I mean, I remember them being black, black and yellow. Someone's going to comment down below, you two don't know anything about English Premier League. 
I don't. I 100% I agree with you. I will watch it from time to time. I know there's people playing like Gareth Southgate and David Beckham. Gareth Southgate required about, retired about 20 years ago. <laughs> Alan Shearer? About 25 years ago. That was the last time I watched football. Yikes. So that's the thing. <laughs> NFL doesn't have any fun team names like we do in the UK because in the United Kingdom, our teams are actually called where they're from. So we could, I guess we could have Sandwich FC. Could have Sandwich FC. You've got Wolverhampton Wanderers. I don't know where the Wanderers bits come from. You know, maybe people wandering through the city to get somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings an end to this episode of the Water Cool Edit with my beaut. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a comment down below if you're a fan of Yeovil FC, because I'm quite sure there's at least one of you out there. But if you want to read any of the articles that we have, including the ones about the English Premier League, the NFL, and back to school sales, you can check it out all on my beaut. And remember, let us know where you're going to go and watch the football so we can come join you and have a jolly old time. You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich. 